Hey guys, this is Wolf. Welcome to a brand new episode of Hey My God, What Now? The show where you can ask me anything you want, whatever you want. No filter, no nothing. Get my opinion on your freaking things. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, this will encourage people to start asking me a lot more questions and I can make this into a regular series. I went through a lot, and I do mean a lot of questions, most of which I won't be able to get to in just one episode, but I'll definitely be able to do more episodes if you guys like this series. Let's start it off. First question comes from Twitter from Miss Monica. Ah! Ah, feeling a little randy there. <laughs> Ooh, her question is, if you could have to fuck one of the 2016 presidential candidates, who would it be and why? Hmm, I probably might as well just go through the whole goddamn list. It's just gonna take forever. Donald Trump, I would probably fuck him just to get to his wife. There was a way to negotiate because he's the master negotiator. I try to make it so I can get to him so I can fuck his wife. Just fuck him. What? Jeb Bush looks like he has a lot of bush and little, little tiny penis. I couldn't really do much with him. Well, I mean, he's got a hole, but I, I, I don't want to fuck him. Ben Carson would probably be sleeping. I need somebody who can twirl batons, who can fucking juggle some fucking balls. Give me a freaking show. He's like... <laughs> Carly Fiorina. Ooh, she looks like the kind of lady who could just put me down and strap me and take a whip and just whoosh. Marco Rubio's too sweet. I have to guide him what to do. Stay down. No, 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 no. Don't look up at me. Not a goddamn after school special. That Cruz looks like he smells. If I really had to choose, I would say Hillary. And let me tell you why. Hillary Clinton, to me, is the classic librarian girl. She's the kind of lady, she just takes off that thing, takes off her glasses, swatches her hair around, and she says, bow, chicka, bow, wow. She's married to Bill Clinton, and Bill Clinton's a fucking freak. After I'm done with her, she'll be so relaxed and tension-free for the next debate. I would like to see that. Bernie Sanders would be a good cuckold. I don't think I could fuck him, but I'd have to fuck his wife in front of him and have him watch. Oh, 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 oh. what are you doing to my wife? That was my Bernie Sanders impression. He would probably have like organic sheets, free trade, coffee, everything to be repurposed. Bernie, I'm just trying to fuck you. Hillary's my choice. Next question comes from O underscore Tris. Will Miguel and Linda be returning? I love them so much. It's funny because they don't love each other at all. So yes, they will be returning. I'm gonna be producing more skits with uh, Miguel and Linda. If you guys haven't seen my series called Miguel and Linda's Bad Marriage, it's 15 seconds, but I'm gonna start doing three minute long skits and watch them just fucking destroy each other. And I don't know why I'm showing that. It's not even a reflection of my family because my father abandoned me. <laughs> he left before I could see any of it. <sighs> This is now an Instagram question from Monica XX12. What do you like to do in your spare time? I like to basically do absolutely nothing. If anything, I like to bother all my friends, give them a text and like, you wanna have coffee? Let's have coffee, let's have lunch. Come hang out with me, please. I need your company. I need your love. I need you. I love you, emoji. I like to drink coffee, uh, read a book. Just do absolutely nothing, because I'm always doing too much stuff. I'm not complaining. I, you know, I like to do my thing. I like to work and make money so I can pay the bills. I just don't want to really do anything. The next question comes from Ella Rose. Iokulano? Am I pronouncing that right? Kulano? I wish it was Kulo. <laughs> if you don't know what Kulo means, Google it. How was the sex experience with the girl guy you were having sex with started to laugh? And what do you think brought it on? That has to do with the video that I did with Lisa Schwartz. <laughs> we were doing the sex positions and she was laughing her ass off. And she asked me, have you ever had sex with a girl who started laughing yes and the experience was I actually had multiple times where a girl laughed during sex but it was mostly because I inflicted it, it was one time I actually vogued in the middle of sex I literally fucking just did my thing and she was just like really <laughs> Another time, I was having sex with her and my roommates come with a whole group of people and all of a sudden they start blasting music. Billie Jean comes on and immediately, without even hesitating, I jump off, go to my dresser, pull out a freaking wig and the glove and I just start dancing naked, doing my thing. And the little fucking Michael, I go and dance naked in front of the friends. I jump right back in and start having sex with my girl as Michael Jackson. She was 
dying. She was floored. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is from Navy Wife 1111. You couldn't go with an extra one? Uh, the question is favorite childhood movie? Hook. That one hits right there. That one struck a nerve. I remember watching that movie when I was six. My brother sneaked out my my sister and me. We were living in New Jersey at the time and we snuck out like really late at night to go watch Hook. And I just remember just being mesmerized by it. And Rufio, man. Rufio. Oh! My favorite part has to be Rufio just comes, you know, with the sword and then he drops to his knees, gives him the sword and he's like, you are the pan. That part gives me goosebumps every freaking time. I just, oh my God, and the music and the soundtrack, epic! Ah! And the last question actually comes from Facebook. It's from a girl named Gabriela Bautista. I think I got that right, Bautista? Bautista? Sorry, if I got it wrong, I can't read. I'm reading right now, but I can't really read. I just, just go with me. What's your favorite book? That one's an interesting question because recently I've actually started reading again. I never really used to like reading, so I don't really have a favorite. I they can definitely say I have a lot of books that I love to read. There's actually one particular book right now that I'm reading called The Likeness. Arthur named Tana French. It's a crime suspense book and uh, it's a really good read. I'm not done yet. I've actually been reading the book whenever I travel. It's a good travel book to have because I'm like I'm still getting used to reading like I can't get through a lot of pages but I'm like forcing myself to do it but the book is so interesting I can actually get through it but I'm still taking my time with it. So hopefully I answered all your questions really good. I definitely want to start answering more questions. If you felt left out don't. I'm gonna make some more posts and I can answer your questions, but please ask me questions. Leave a comment below. And if they're good, if they're interesting, and if they're original, I will answer them in my next post or 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 next post. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. Would love to start making this into a weekly thing. So until next time, I am going to say goodbye and eat your faith. <laughs>